When you go onto my website, the opening statement that I've made is that when I was a kid, my grandfather used to say it was just a fence. And it's really the beginning of my philosophy about what drives this company and what we do in our listen, design, and build approach to satisfying a customer and servicing that customer properly. We've been in business since 1998. Uh, established after I had spent some time in the production side of fencing and it's where I learned how to build fencing that I wouldn't bring to this company and bring to anybody's home. Production fencing is much different than residential refencing where we meet with a customer and get a feel for what the property looks like, what the theme of the property is and then build according to that theme. I've really enjoyed this, uh, this stint in the fencing industry for the last 16 years simply because we've had the chance from day one to continue to learn and to grow and to, to satisfy a customer's needs. We've started out as a regular fence company that built little tiny fences and regular style gates to a company today that's, that's doing large platforms for decks, uh, custom gates for driveways. Uh, everything that, that goes into any outdoor construction or what I would call outdoor enhancements for a property. We've really enjoyed this. It's been a great stint and we're continuing to learn and continuing to grow and continuing to listen so we can give the customer what it is that they're after. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'm always readily available. Thanks for your time. The important considerations for fence building are the style of fence, the design, and the materials. Very, very important is really the materials because that will determine the longevity of the fence. When we're building fences, we're using pressure treated posts and pressure treated kickboards. And typically with our good neighbor style fences, we're building with what we call solid framing, a solid two by four with one by ones to create the channel for the boards to sit inside of. Redwood will come in different quality and grades, and we tend to use, on a standard basis, our construction common grade Redwood. There are two basic styles of fence building when considering what to build. Our first style is a nail-on style fence, where you have a frame and you nail the board to the frame. The second style we refer to as a good neighbor style fence. And everybody typically sees them in your neighborhood today where you see the board inside of the frame. What's important about building a good neighbor style fence is one, to use a pressure treated cedar tone post. When the post goes into the ground, you mount the concrete above the ground. You're using a pressure treated kickboard and a solid two by four with one by ones to create the channeling for the board to go into. The board pattern has nothing to do with the structural integrity of the fence. It's really a choice, so to speak. There's board on board, there's side by side, and there's closed louvered style fencing. You can take a six foot style fence and add lattice to it for a seven foot style fence, or you can do it at three foot plus one foot of lattice, four foot plus one foot of lattice, etc., etc. The longevity of a fence is going to really be determined by the post itself. At Bay Pacific, we use a pressure treated cedar tone post and protect that post by mounting the concrete above the ground at the final phase of fence building. Once the post is installed, we're actually pouring dry concrete into the hole and then building the fence. Once the fence is built, we're wetting the post hole and allowing that water to soak down to the bottom of the post hole and get all the way down into the bottom to allow the concrete to get wet. At the very last phase of what we do is we bring a wheelbarrow full of wet concrete and mound the concrete above the ground to protect the post against water and rot. Here at Bay Pacific, we use primarily one grade of material to build our fencing, and it's redwood. Outside of the pressure-treated posts and pressure-treated kickboards, everything else is going to be redwood. And Redwood's graded by two facets. One, what color am I? And two, how big is my knot? 
When we hear the terms construction common or construction heart, your first term construction is indicating the size of the knot and the second term common or heart is determining the color of the board. There are many different styles of fences. The beauty is that a fence can actually enhance the quality of a property and actually be determined by the theme of the home and the yard that's already existing. You can build a fence that is a board on board or a closed louvered style fence and then enhance that with an upper portion we would call lattice. Lattice can be crisscross where you have a diamond shape opening or a square opening or it can be in two by two patterns which we call piano keys. The nice part of all this is that a fence can enhance a person's property. Let's talk about decks. At Bay Pacific Fence, we recognize that the most important part of the deck is the substructure. Always use a Douglas Fir number one pressure treated grade material. It allows for the most retention of a pressure treated post. We don't use the same material in building a deck as we do in a fence. We always use something that has much more impregnation of chemical and is darker and holds up to moisture rot. There are a number of different deck surfaces that we can choose from. The three main categories really are redwood or cedar, so wood products, composite products, and there's a number of composite manufacturers Trex, Evergreen, TimberTech, Nextwood, all to be discussed as to the customer's preference, and then also your Brazilian hardwoods, be it Mangaris or Ipe material. Accessory items for a deck are going to be those items that actually help to beautify the deck. The pattern of the floorboards that you put in and the way that they get attached. We use a master clip system in many cases and that's where we're attaching the board surface to the deck by screwing it underneath into the substructure and then into the board itself. If we talk about railings, we can use cable railing, we can use iron framed railing, we could also use lights on post caps or lights on the deck surface and also a skirt around the outside of the deck when the deck has an elevation of 18 inches or higher.